Hey everyone, I'm Jonathan Blundell, and I know that most of you probably don't have a clue who I am. That's fine. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce a little bit about myself, and then tell you about the book I just wrote, St. Peter's Brewery. Uh, I'm Jonathan Blundell. I live in Red Oak, Texas with my wonderful wife. I'm a blogger, a podcaster, and recently an author of the book, St. Peter's Brewery. Uh, the podcast I do is called Something Beautiful Podcast, where we tell the stories of folks, and uh, we try to encourage people to realize that, hey, they do have a story. It does matter. It is important. And uh, hopefully tell the stories of folks, ordinary folks, doing extraordinary things. Now, the book itself is kind of uh, just of the podcast. It's kind of an extension of the podcast put into a novel, nonfiction form. Uh, the book, I wrote it back in November of 2008 as part of the NaNoWriMo process. Now, NaNoWriMo is... National Novel Writers Month, where you're challenged basically to write a novel within the month of at least 50,000 words or more. Definitely a challenge, I can say that. But it was definitely something that spurred me on. It's, I'd been wanting to write a book for some time, and to have a deadline and to have something set in stone that you have to finish by this point kind of helped spur me on and uh, got me going. A few things that uh, people ask me about the book is uh, why a novel? Why did you choose to write a novel? And, and they kind of asked for some background and so forth. I had been wanting to write a book for some time. I would thought about a novel. Uh, I had actually started um, a couple different novels over a few years period and uh, they just never really got anywhere. I'd write maybe a chapter or two and they just kind of fizzle out, never could really develop the storyline. And I uh, also talked about um, maybe writing a nonfiction book, but never really found something that I felt passionate enough to delve into research and to spend that much time working on. And so uh, I love that NaNoWriMo came along and I was able to write a novel from that. And it's kind of a collection of ideas that I've wrestled with over probably the last few years, um, both that I've wrestled with and that some of my friends have wrestled with and worked through. So it's kind of biographical in that sense. The book itself is actually about a young guy named Jimmy who's a 20-something. Uh, he's been working in Austin, Texas in the tech industry and uh, loses his girlfriend, loses his job, and uh, kind of all the things that have been bothering him up to this point about his life all kind of catch up with him. And he says, you know, life is just too painful to keep going. And so rather than just kind of ending it all, he decides I'm going to run away from it all. And he kind of uses the escapism mentality, I suppose, and runs to a small town in Central Texas where he begins to work at a post office. Now the only friend he really has in town for the first six months or so is the brewery, uh, the bartender at a brewery uh, known as St. Peter's, uh, which is actually uh, held in an old church building. Uh, this guy named Peter basically buys the church and puts in a pub uh, and brewery in this old church building. So this is the only friend that Jimmy has. But along the way, he kind of hooks up with a ragtag group of folks who have developed a community in a very unique style, and they have community in a way that Jimmy's not familiar with. And so through them, he learns not only about community, what friendship really means, but also grace and forgiveness. Another thing that people have asked me is, will you write again? And uh, probably the correct answer is, well, if you buy enough copies of this book, definitely. Uh, but I do like to... Uh, entertain the idea and I do think I will write again. I've talked about maybe writing a children's book in the future or maybe some nonfiction or take another crack at fiction as well. So we'll just kind of see what the future brings and go from there. Kind of the uh, take home from this book, there are three areas that I would love for, for everybody to take home when they get done reading this book and, and I know that that may not necessarily be the case for everyone. But three things I hope you consider is one, what is your definition of church? Um, I hope that this stretches you and it challenges your definition and that you really consider what church can be, what it uh, should be possibly, maybe how it's different from the way that you've experienced and that uh, you find a way to offer grace to those who may not come from a standpoint and tradition similar to yours. I also hope that it challenges your understanding of grace, that uh, you really have to step out and say, okay, I have a little bit better idea of what grace is about and uh, realizing that as just human beings we need to be offering more of grace to those around us. And then finally, I hope that uh, there's an idea in this book that the brewery, there's a sign that says St. Peter's, a sanctuary for all. 
And I love this idea of a sanctuary for all where everyone can come and they can feel welcome. They're not set where you have to look a certain way or dress a certain way or act a certain way or drink a certain beer or not drink beer at all. Whatever background you come from, whatever preferences you have made for your life, uh, St. Peter's is hopefully a place where people can come and, and they can feel welcome. And I hope that through this book, you're challenged to create those type of places. Uh, as we like to call them in our community of faith, we call them spaces of grace. And so I hope that you're challenged to build those areas where people can come and they can feel safe. They can express doubt. They can express worry. They can express frustration. They can express joy. They can express victory and triumph. And they won't feel like someone's going to look down on them for whatever it is that they say or do. And that doesn't mean that you start a brewery or that you uh, go start a pub somewhere. But that it actually means, whether it's at a Whataburger or a Chick-fil-A or Wendy's or maybe your favorite coffee shop, Starbucks or White Rhino or whatever your favorite coffee shop might be, when you gather with people, you're putting up a barrier that says this is a space of grace. And whatever it is that you have to say or whatever it is that you're going to tell me, I'm okay with because I'm going to offer grace regardless. So those are three areas I hope that people are challenged with with the book. So do check out the website, stpetersbrewery.info. On there you'll find some questions that I've thrown out there. Whether you've read the book or not, hopefully they'll uh, cause you to think a little bit and you'll join in some of the discussion. And uh, you can also find out how to order the book. It's available on Amazon.com, BarnesandNobles.com, uh, IndieBound.com, and several other sites. Uh, you can also get it for your Kindle uh, as an ebook and so forth. So hope that you will visit the site. Find out more, pick up the book, uh, get five or six copies for your mother as well and her friends and their book club and uh, get involved and hopefully we'll all be building spaces of grace in the near future. Mm -hmm.